Step 1. Stop the machine and disconnect the power to the unit. Follow the procedure to lock out, tag out on the main power disconnect. Step 2. Raise the alignment nut all the way into the frame bushing and place the shipping blocks between the seismic mass and frame. Step 3. Drain oiled and old bearing. C-section 9 eccentric bearing oil change to drain out the oil in the old eccentric bearing. Step 4. Remove the safety shield. Save all the hardware for reuse. Removal tip. Reinstall the upper motor mount bolts so this will keep the motor from shifting while you are removing slash installing the drive shaft assembly. Step 5. Remove the drive shaft assembly. The upper bolts are metric size while the lower bolts are American standard. Be sure not to mix these two up as you can damage the threads. Here's a tip. Remove the drive shaft assembly and store it in a secure location for reuse later. Step 6. Remove the 8 3 quarter inch 10 bolts from the bottom of the eccentric bearing under the seismic mass. These bolts should not be reused. Install the eccentric bearing all threads into the bearing assembly from the top and use this to pick up the bearing assembly. The bearing is very heavy approximately 75 pounds and awkward to work with. Step 7. Clean surfaces. Inspect the surfaces at the top and bottom of the seismic mass as well as the top of the bearing bottom plate and completely clean off all oil. Use IPA to completely clean the surfaces. Also be sure to clean the side wall of the sump. Any grit, metal, or rubber pieces must be removed. Use a wire brush if necessary. The surfaces should be clean and sanded using 100 grit and 240 grit sandpaper to make sure the metal is perfectly smooth and clean. Wipe off any excess dust, oil, particles with IPA. Here's another tip. Use super glue to keep the O-rings in place. Step 8. Install two new Buna O-rings into the groove of the seismic mass and be sure the O-rings stay seated in this groove at all times. It may be necessary to stretch the O-rings so that it will not roll out of the groove. A few drops of super glue in the groove will help to hold the O-rings in place. Step 9. Using extreme care, position the new eccentric bearing assembly over the oil sump area of the seismic mass and align the bolt holes. Be sure the front side, the side where there is a notch at the base of the eccentric bearing, is facing you. Set the bearing down slowly and steadily. Step 10. Install the O-rings into the grooves of the bearing bottom plate. Insert 3 quarter inch 10 hex bolts with washers through the bearing bottom plate 
then the seismic mass, thread it up into the bottom of the eccentric bearing. Be careful and patient to make sure the two O-rings don't pop out during installation. You should also torque these bolts. Start with 80 foot-pounds in an alternate pattern, then work to 100 foot-pounds, and then bring it up to 380 foot-pounds. If it's not already done, inspect the O-ring on the bottom oil drain plug, replace if necessary, and then install the plug onto the bearing bottom plate. Step 11. After cleaning the surface, apply a bead of silicone RTV sealant at the base of the eccentric bearing assembly and seismic mass. Push the bead of caulking in with your finger to be sure it is securely impregnated into the joint. You can spray the surface with IPA for a cleaner application. Step 12. Gather the drive shaft assembly and position it above the eccentric bearing. Check the fit between the motor shaft flange hub at the top of the eccentric bearing housing. Step 13. Install the drive shaft assembly by using the two sets of socket head cap screws. Use the metric set for the upper flex coupling and the American standard set for the lower flex coupling. Don't mix them up or the threads will be damaged if the wrong socket head cap screws are used. Step 14. Position the pair of safety shields around the eccentric bearing and drive shaft assembly. Verify that the safety shield has clearance all the way around. Torque the bolts to 50 foot-pounds. Step 15. Fill up the eccentric bearing with oil. See Section 9 of the Series I Manual for more information. Step 16 and 17. Lower the alignment nut and power up the system. Be sure to remove the wood shipping blocks before startup. 